Hey guys, Spooks here, and welcome back to some more Dead by Daylight. Now, in this episode, we are continuing our Immersed builds, and we are now playing as The Shape. So, we all know The Shape really, really likes his obsessions, and these are the cosmetics I got. First each one knife that's all bloody, because why wouldn't it be? And then this fancy mask with blood all over it, because why wouldn't it have? Now, perk-wise, we have Dying Light, so... We become obsessed with one survivor. The obsession gains a 33% action speed bonus to unhooking and healing other survivors. Now, each time I hook a survivor other than the obsession, if the obsession is alive, I gain a token. If the obsession is alive, all survivors who are not the obsession get a 3% penalty to repair healing and sabotage speeds for each token. So that's going to come in handy. Next is save the best for last. Obsessed with one survivor. For each token... Earn a token for each successful basic attack that is not dealt to the obsession. Each token grants a 5% decreased successful basic hit cooldown, and I can earn up to 8 tokens. So what that means is I could hit someone, and then instead of like, you know, how they like clean their weapon or look at it or hag drinks it, what I'll do is I'll do that 60% faster, because I'll have a... No, 40... I'll do that 40% faster. And then I can earn up to 8 tokens, but hitting the obsession takes away 2 tokens. Obviously I can't gain any more tokens if the obsession is sacrificed or killed, so what's best to do is get it up to 8 tokens and kill the obsession. Next we've got Lethal Pursuer, so I'll be able to see where every survivor is at the beginning of the match for 9 seconds. And then the last one is Beast of Prey, so the lust for the kill is so intense we lose our connection to the entity. So after we've been in a chase long enough and we reach Bloodlust Tier 1, where we go a little bit faster and the screen goes a little blurry on the sides, we don't have a Terror Radius or a red stain from our eyes. And we get 30% more blood points, so that's nice. Now to do this, obviously, we've got to go to Strode Reality Key, Lampkin Lane. Not too excited for that, but got to do it. And then we've got a Judith's Journal for add-ons. And... Increase the rate of which evil is gained when we stalk our obsession. So what we're going to try to do is stalk our obsession and then go to someone else. If we can find them. Hopefully. Also, I should say that this, if I grab them or pull them out of the locker, it does not count as a basic attack. Good to know. Now, our next one is the Memorial for Judith Myers. And it increases the rate of which evil is gained when stalking. So... If I combine this with this, I can stock my obsession 65% faster. So, if you guys have a build you think would work better, let me know down below. I've thought this one through quite a bit. I think that it really kind of fits Michael. But, watch the match and tell me what you think. And without further ado, here it is. Alright, so, I guess, so someone put a, the game in here, which... Whatever. Um, okay, we got three more over there. Where's the fourth one? Where are you? Um, anyways, we did change out one thing. So we no longer have... Um, that really? That was my obsession? You have to kidding me. Is she still over here? Um... I don't even remember what we had. Anyway, we have Noah now, because that made a lot more sense. Because no one does escape him. Except Lori. She's not a person. I think I get juked a lot easier in this cloud gaming setup that I have. Okay. Starting to get stacks, which is good. We got it down before all the generators are done, so I mean... Better than the last couple games. You're really gonna make me work for this stuff, aren't you? There we go. 
Someone was over here. <gasps> oh, real lucky with the other Michaela. Shouldn't get out. He's gonna get that Michaela off, which is fine. You really think that that's gonna work for you every time, don't you? I heard you. Let's get the Michaela. Oi, hey! I did not realize there were three Michaelas. That's not Michaela. That, that's why I didn't realize it. Yeah, decisive, it should be gone by now. I always think that. It never is. Okay, so my plan is... This is actually working out really good. My plan is to get the Yui. With my, uh tier three and then start going after the Felix. even more now. I know I could go get that um, Chica and then she'd just be dead, but I feel like I've got a pretty good lead on him. I'm not too worried. Nice. Okay, so this is working as intended. Because he jumped down there, so he's not going to be able to come back up and get her very fast. If I had known she was going to be there, I would have uh, finished off the other chick. Whoa, did you? Ah! That crow, like, caused an invisible person. I don't know where this is. That's so unfortunate <laughs> that you were right there. I had no idea, but that really sucks for you. Because now you're dead. Probably hook him. I'm also not sure how to get back up. Whoa, hello. I don't even know whose blood this is. Ah, I was looking for you. Get away with that. No. You go in the basement now. Because you should not have gotten away with that. 
Should have just hit you when I knew you were in the corner. Slap her, and then bada bing, bada boom, we are golden. Let's see, she was working on. Oh, fetch. Wait, she finished the gen. Literally had no idea that that happened. I need to stare at her real good. We're gonna break down this door. I feel like it's gonna come in handy. Oh, she really just gonna let him die. Rude. She legit. Okay, well, we win. We got three kills. Um, don't know why she just let him die. Kinda sucks. I almost feel like she doesn't really deserve hatch. I mean, she did do the generators. I'll give her that. But she also just kind of let her teammate die. Ah, she accepted her death. How nice of you. Now, if this were a normal game, I would give her hatch, but it's not. This is Michael. Oh, and the hatch is up there in there. I'm I'm sorry. That's unfortunate. But that's Michael, and we had no Ed as a backup um, because no one escapes Michael. I think we made that pretty clear. This actually probably worked out better than Lampkin Lane would have, so uh, I'm fine with it. Good game. That went better than um, all the others I did not play. Uh, yeah, it was pretty good. Thank you guys all so much for joining me. If you liked that, let me know down in the comments below. And if you have another build you think would work better, also put that down. But until next time, guys. Stay spooky.